Hey guys, Coach Amelia Deer here. Ooh, ooh. I said remove it. Yes. I was just making a real and I was just in here literally having the time of my life. Like, yes, I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? Like, life is great, guys. You really have to do the work. Okay? When you do the work you you know you need to do, the reward is priceless okay and that leads us to today's topic of discipline just being disciplined like some of us have zero or maybe like one percent discipline okay in the shows so let me tell y'all being disciplined oh being disciplined okay being disciplined in the best way you can be like it's not easy okay because temptation is a oh you know what i mean you be looking at temptation like i'm gonna need you to go have a seat hey i'm gonna need you to go sit down because i'm trying to be disciplined and i can't be disciplined if you keep tempting me okay do you know what i mean i'm gonna use a couple examples today because i think this is like i got decided i think this is one of the things that i definitely struggle with with a couple things and then you know once i really push myself like you literally gotta like push yourself with whatever it is that you're lacking discipline in and fight it guys fight it and I'm going to get real, 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 real on this one today. So if you tuned in today, let me tell y'all, y'all going to have, y'all going to, y'all going to wake up tomorrow. Y'all going to wake up like a new person. Y'all going to wake up like, oh my God, Amelia was right. Like, oh my God, I fought it. I survived. I'm breathing. I'm living. Oh my goodness. Look at thee. Look at thee. <laughs> look at thee. <laughs> um. So I'm over here thinking, like, guys, I'm just like, first of all, y'all, I don't have no foundation today because I I have a crazy, crazy schedule and I woke up and I started doing 20 other things. So I was just like, all right, I still got time. I could just go throw on some concealer, throw on some brows and throw on some lip and a little blush. Mm, I'm about to do this look for y'all. I didn't record it because, again, I was rushing. So I came in here. I was just like, do, 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 do. But I'm going to record. Uh, I'm going to try to do it again tomorrow. And I'm going to record it for y'all because I know y'all want to know all these little quick tips, okay? Because we got to be looking like it. We got to be looking like yes. And that's for my ladies. Fellas, don't be trying to keep, keep, mind your business. Let us have what we got. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Well, Soul Family, welcome. Let's get into today's topic. Let's talk about it. Let's, you know what I mean? Get to the bottom of it. And then let's work on it. Mmm. I like that flow. Let's talk about it. Let's get to the bottom of it. And let's work on it. I'm going to have to write that one down, y'all. Because I got to come back to that great point. My post-its. I be having post-its everywhere, y'all. Yellow, green, blue, pink. But that's good. Okay, that's motivational. Just having post-its around, you be motivated. Like, all right, what that post is saying? What I, what I was thinking about at that moment before I wrote that down. You know what I mean? So, take a moment around. Write that down. Talk about it. Get to the bottom of it. Mm. Yes, Lord. And work on it. Work on it. And working on it is an everyday process. You can't expect to work on something for one day. I'm going to take this one. You can't expect to work on it for one day and then think like, wow, I'm done. Baby. Working on it don't stop. <laughs> I still be working on it every day. When I be wanting to eat after the nine o'clock. I be wanting to sneak on, creep on down to the to the fridge and get the cookies. I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? This is, I'm telling myself no. When you tell yourself no, you have worked on it. Okay? You have fought the temptation of a chocolate crummy cookie. Okay? Who dipped in a little bit of milk? Mm -hmm. Okay, discipline. Brushing your teeth every night 
and flossing, disciplined, driving past the fast food line and going to get you something to cook, disciplined, okay? Being consistent, going to the gym, okay? I said going to the gym, mm. doing a walk, okay? You can't make it to the gym, all right? Well, I'm going to walk. Discipline, burning calories, Okay, and trying to keep it balanced or burning more than you putting in. That's discipline. When you burn more calories than you put in, who you gonna be looking slim. They gonna be like, who is this? <laughs> who does she think she is? Who are you? You know what I mean? They gonna be looking at you like she thinks she cute. Yes, I do. Because I'm disciplined. Okay? I'm setting the time. I'm going to sleep. I'm not staying up all night on, on social media. No, I'm cutting it off. Disciplined. I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock. And I'm waking up at 6.30. Maybe 7. Discipline. Okay, guys? This is all about being disciplined. Once you discipline yourself in one factor, it'll kind of trickle down. You know? So you'll be, you'll start working on being disciplined with your eating. Okay? So like... I'm not going to eat fried. I'm not going to eat greasy. I'm not going to be heavy on the pasta. I'm going I'm to be a little more disciplined. And start in smaller increments. Sometimes you got to give yourself 30 days. Okay, for 30 days, I'm going to do this. Then after 30 days, I'm going to set a new goal. Because sometimes what we do is we try to take on way too much than, than we can handle. Okay? We know we, we need a low pasta. So, you know what I mean? We're going to just eat it once a week. Okay, or maybe even twice a week, or twice a week or the most. Cause remember, the more you putting in, the more you gotta burn it out. But if you ain't even putting it in, oh baby, now you just now you catching up. Now you burning off. Oh, let me shirt back in. Now you just burning out. Um, that 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 excessive kind of like weight you know what i mean like the weight you've been trying to get off for 10 years then you start burning that off but if you eating the same way you're eating and you start working out you're not really going to lose no weight you're going to kind of maintain your weight because you're just burning off the new fat that you're putting in but you know we need to start burning off that old fat oh okay we need to start burning. you know that little warm fat right there we need to start burning that off we need to not let the men intimidate us in the gym, and we need to go to the arm section. Guys, y'all ever notice? I'm like, I don't, I don't be wanting to be in guys' way because they be getting in. You know what I mean? But all the men always take up the arm section. You be like, hello, I know I can't lift like you live, but can I get a little arm workout too? I be lifting like 20, y'all, and my arms be hurting. <laughs> I I think my arms is the weakest part of my body, which is surprisingly because we use our hands so much, but we don't really lift. You know, like our legs are strong because we hold our weight up, but our arms, like don't laugh how I say arms, yeah, but um, our arms, like we don't really lift. It definitely as women, we ain't lifting up nothing, but men they be in there like. I just be like, y'all is so extra. Y'all need, in the all gyms, okay, y'all need to put an arm section for the ladies, okay? This is going to be the lady arms. <laughs> because then we got to walk past y'all. Y'all be grunting. Y'all intimidating. You know what I mean? Like, y'all make us feel like we can't do arms because we not a man. And it's just like, we got to hold out groceries, you know? Like, we got to hold, you know, people, kids, or maybe our own kids, we need on work too. So I'm going to need y'all to give us a little section in the gym. And we just need like two machines. We don't even need all that extra stuff. We just need the one you go like this and the one you go like this. Because that helped a little. Mm -mm -mm. And this one, it helped a little. Mm -mm -mm. You know, sidebar. But guys, <laughs> seriously, we, you know, really have to. Be disciplined with what we do. Okay? So once you start with eating, then you're going to start noticing other habits. That the goals that you create for yourself, you're going to do it. You're going to be more focused. Sometimes we're not focused because we don't have no... We, we don't have no set time. We don't have no set schedule. We just kind of... 
doing doing everything. You know what I mean? Like just and if we go to work, it's like okay, we just go to work. But what about an after work schedule? That is so important. Okay. I know we got some entrepreneurs, but I know we got some nine to fivers on here too. If you have a nine to five, okay, that's your work schedule. What 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 else do you have set in your schedule? From from five to six, get home, okay. And then what you doing from six to nine? Six to nine, maybe you cooking, maybe you meal prepping, maybe you taking 30, 40 minutes to go to the gym. You don't have to spend hours in the gym. I go, I'll be 30, 45 minutes. Cause then after about 45 minutes, I'm about tired. <laughs> I'm about ready to go. <laughs> like, all right. I burned off the calories for the day. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll give you another 45 minutes. Okay? It's not that bad. Okay? They got TVs in the gym. They got the stretch sections. So you don't even got to get on the machines. Some people just get on the elliptical. But, I I mean, walking is good. It's stuff that's good for your legs and that's good to, you know, burn off water weight. But, guys, y'all got to build some muscle. Like, I realized not going to the gym and just working out, like, all right, I lost the weight I wanted to lose. But now I want to get some muscle. And it's just always creating that next goal for yourself. Don't ever, don't ever, feel, or don't ever feel like, all right, I'm done. No. If you never had a six-pack, and I don't know about y'all, Tiana Taylor got it going on. But sister like me ain't never had no six pack. I might have had it flat. I might have been able to wear like you know the little tummy things, and you know I get away with it. But I ain't never had like a ab. You know what I'm saying? So before you know I get a little old or whatever. And even if I don't get old, okay, I'm gonna be on this old lady with the abs. <laughs> okay, why not? It could be you. Sometimes we don't really see ourselves in bigger in bigger light, and it's time to start. Okay, if you never had abs, challenge yourself for the next six months to get as close as you could get. Okay, maybe you may not even get all the way there, but set that as the goal. Aim for the stars, shoot for the moon. Okay, and then you get the sky. Okay, that's close enough. I, I, I put me up in the sky. I ain't gotta be a star, but as long as I'm up there in the sky, I'm good. You know what I mean? That's a metaphor. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that because sometimes I, I just think I be losing y'all. I be like, honey, that is a metaphor. <laughs> a metaphor, okay? I don't know if I gotta give y'all the definition, but a metaphor is a phrase that people use and they're trying to explain something, but they say it's something else. Now, that's my version of it. I ain't pull it up, but I could pull it up. Should we pull, let's pull it up real quick, y'all. Metaphor. I think sometimes it's good to know the exact. I like exact definitions. I don't know about y'all. Metaphor. I like exact definitions because it helps me really think about it. You know what I mean? Like it gives me more of a logical thought. Because if you don't expand those thoughts, sometimes you could go left. But we need to be going right. You know what I mean? Here you go. A figure of speech that is used to make a comparison between two things that aren't alike but do have something in common. Unlike a simile where two things are compared directly using like or as, a metaphor's comparison is more indirect, usually made by stating something is something else. Okay, guys? Indirect. I like that. See what I mean? They give you that. They give you that. Indirect. So, meaning like, the stars and skies is not really um, a goal. You know what I mean? Like, we can't really be up there in the stars. Okay? It's metaphorical. Maybe spiritually, but none of that is proven. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I mean? But, okay, aim for the stars, guys. Aim. Aim as high as you can aim and, and reach for it. Set higher goals. Some of us, we set some low goals. And then that's why we stay at this low point. We're not setting higher standards for ourselves. We're not, we not seeing ourselves. We're not believing that we could achieve that. Y'all need to start believing. Okay? Because I'm telling y'all, I used to always set high goals. And, and tune out. 
okay? Those those negative whispers. Because when you start to aim high, you're going to have people just kind of like telling you not to aim high because they not aiming high. You know what I mean? They want you to stay right. To come come back down. They want you to stay right for, right with them. You know what I'm saying? So when you start to elevate and move, people come back. You know what I'm saying? They shouting, come back down, come back down. But no, you need to say, hey, come back up. Don't don't come back down because you know what it was back there to be down. You ain't had nothing. You had just enough. But up here, you got a little extra. So that the more you go up, you can get a little more and a little more. You just be like, oh, girl, hey, I can get you a little something. Come on, come on, come on. And that's how you help build people up. Build yourself up and build people up with you. Some people build themselves up. Ooh, this this one is a pet peeve. Build they self up and then do like a little laugh. You know, like a little ha ha ha. No value. <laughs> no sense. No purpose. Mumba guys, everything that we do, we gotta make sure we have a purpose for it. Okay? So we set higher goals for ourselves and we getting ourselves in better positions so that we could then help someone else. It's all about helping because some somebody gonna have to help you. Believe it or not. Okay? Maybe not directly, but maybe indirectly. Mm. Okay. And for y'all to try to say no, it's not. I mean, even think of it like this. Somebody made YouTube, right? So you watching this video. So whoever made YouTube is helping you. Mm. They just so high up, you may not see them, but they they helping you. They helping you get your voice out there. They helping you build the platform. They helping you build the name, okay? So somebody is always going to be helping you. So when you get to a certain point that, you, that someone helped you get at, it's only right that you then help other people get to that point. Okay, it's like, come on, let's go. Let's go to the top, let's go. Let's go to the top, let's go. Let's go to the top, let's go. Ooh, 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 And to get to where you got to go, baby, the more disciplined you are, the further you will go. One more time. I said, the more disciplined you are, the further you will go. All right, come on, guys, come on. Yes. So, seriously, I hope y'all taking notes. <laughs> okay, I need you to do. I need you to do understand what I say. <laughs> but it's it it takes a lot, guys. I remember story time I remember um just not being disciplined you know what I mean just kind of like doing what I can when I can and just kind of like getting things done and that's that's what my life showed like I was scattered you know what I mean like I didn't have none of my nothing in order you know what I mean like I, I was using business accounts with personal accounts you get what I mean? Like, that's a little more personal. But I told y'all, so we'll get a little personal with y'all. But you you can't have you can't have all that. I remember I was getting my taxes done. And the lady was just like, you got too much going on. You got this over here. You got this over there. You got this over there. She was like, you are unorganized. And when she said that, I was just like, wow. Mm. I'm like, I am not organized. And then I it sat with me. You know, I mean, I didn't say that to her, but I took it. I was just like, she know what she's talking about. You know what I mean? I trust her. That is what she is paid to do. You know what I mean? But she helped me realize, like, all right, I need to be in order. I, I'm just spending and, and this and that. And I don't I don't even know what I'm making. I, I you know what I mean? And this was like one of those first when I first started doing business. I, and I was moving, I was growing faster than I guess I could keep up with. So I was just getting things done. I ain't had no structure. I was just like, all right, this order, all right, that order, all right, pay that bill, okay, this bill, okay, that. Uh, like, I was just all over the place. All over the place. 
Not even keeping tabs, not even knowing that's a tab, not even educating myself and just doing things and just doing it with no purpose. No purpose. So, you know, the Lord was like, I need you to get I need you to get this in order. Because you're asking for more, but you don't even have this in order. You don't even have your finances in order. Okay? You need to have them in order, ladies and gentlemen. You need to know what's going in and what's coming out. And, and, and what's about to go out. And, well, you ain't going to never know what's coming in. But when it come in, you got to know where to put it. It has to have a place. And if it doesn't have a place and you all over the place, you're going to be always moving, rushing. Always trying to catch up. Always trying to... All right, let me get it together. All right, let me catch up. Let me... I, even me, like, I remember my, when I was doing hair more my appointments you know what I mean not really fully prepared just kind of like there just like rushing five minutes before trying to set up no you knew she was coming this morning this morning you should have just set up set up okay you should have had what you needed together so being disciplined is a 360 deal once you get one thing in order you start to get other things in order you start just getting more organized you start even organizing your seasonings in your cabinet. <laughs> like, let me just organize this cabinet. Let me organize this fridge. And then it's like a domino effect. It's like, then you just start wanting things to be in order. And it's not to be, um, what's that thing that people say? Um, ADD, A, something like that. You know, when they got to have everything in line. Like, you don't got to be excessive. You know what I mean? Like, you can have a little book of a place. Like, at a point, I think I was getting excessive. And I was just like... But then I had to like relax, like, all right, you're in order. You know what I mean? Like once you reach your goal, know when you reach your goal. Ooh, that's an important factor right there. Know when you reach your goal. Some of us reach our goal and don't know what to do when we get there. Don't know what the goal, what the reach goal look like because we didn't set the goal. So... Sometimes you got to come to a point and realize when you when you have reached your goal. Okay? So that you start planning for your next goal. But if you don't know when you reach your goal, you're going to just be going and going and going and going. And you're not going to have a new goal set. And without set goals, I'm telling y'all, you're going to be scattered leaning. Languini. <laughs> you're going to just be like, huh, who, what, where... And you don't want to be lost. You don't want people to come and tell you what you should already know. When someone else come to you and tell you something, and, and it could be a positive thing, but even so, when they tell you something that you should already know and it's something positive, then that's when the ego start to come in and, and start to feel so, you know what I mean? Like, and then you start needing validation and you never want to be, you never want to need validation from anyone someone can always give you a compliment and that's great you know what i mean thank you I'll always appreciate your compliments but compliments and validation is two different things okay when somebody is validating you they giving you confirmation on things that you did and it's stuff that you should already know you should already know that you're great you should already know that you're amazing you should already know you have good skin good hair. You should already know your outfit is cute. You should already know your apartment is nice or your house is nice. You should already know your car is nice. You should already know what you're doing is great. You should already know. When someone else has to come in and step you and tell you, that's what is a problem. That's what you're not seeing and, and having self-awareness of what you're doing. Now you're just doing stuff. Now you just you just there. You just fiddling. You know what I mean? Like you just, you're not structured. You're not disciplined. You're not paying attention. You don't have mindfulness. So these are all the characteristics and these are all the traits and these are all of the skills that you need to be successful and maintain success. Because if you're successful and you don't know and everyone around you know, it's bad for business. That's bad for business. I'm telling you, you're going to have just everybody in your face. Everybody going to just be in your face and you're going to be starting to run around with chicken with no head. If you ever see the chicken run around with no head, go YouTube it. I'm sure somebody got it online. 
They just be ba -ball, ba -ball, ba -ball. They just be running around Confused, lost so, so understand Domino effect When you are disciplined and you are paying attention And you got things in order And you got your goals set Talk about the big bad wolf I said I'm coming to blow <laughs> I'm coming to do what I need to do I got purpose so that's why you have to be paying attention to all of this and, 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 and practicing. Some of us think we, we supposed to just wake up and know how to do things. No, we got to, we got to build. We got to take one step at a time. We got to get to one phase, master it, get to the next phase, master it, get to the next phase, master it, and keep going. Cause once you once you become um, successful, and most of you are just don't know it, but once you become successful and you got things together, you got things in order, and no one could come and blow your house down. When your house is made out of bricks, solid, firm, okay. That's how you that's how you know things is firm in order. No one could come and tell you something and change your mind about your purpose. No one could come up in your space and, and, and change what you got going on. You are who you are. And some of us is we, we we busy looking at somebody else and trying to be like somebody else. And when you trying to be like somebody else, it's easy for you to be knocked down. But if you start being like you. And you confident in you, and you built you with some bricks, no one could come and blow it down. And if you haven't seen the three little pigs, I'm gonna need you to go rewatch that with a different eye. I'm gonna need you to open up and pay attention. Okay? You gotta, you gotta, you gonna get knocked down, but you gotta get back up. And you gotta, you gotta switch up the formula a little bit. Okay, first you start with the straw. Okay, you start with the straw because you was like, all right, this is what I know how to do. Let me try with the straw. And if somebody come and blow it down, all right. What was the next one? What they made it out of? It went from straw and it went from, to something else. Maybe sticks, maybe wood. You know what I mean? And I, I ain't even I ain't even playing this, y'all. Y'all know I'm speaking from the heart. But Maybe you got to try with the All right, guys, I'm going to mush my video together. But, yes, maybe you got to start with the wooden nails. All right, and if the wooden nails don't hold you up, then that's when you know, all right, keep going, keep going, get back up, and get you some brick layers. All right, and some of us already went through that phase, but we didn't know. So sometimes we got to look back, all right, let me see what I did. Let me see where I'm at. And let me see where I'm going. All right, and see where you're going and set that goal, set that mark, set it high, and 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 be disciplined. All right, make a com make a commitment to yourself, and be commitment committed to yourself and the promise you have with God. That is what's important. Some of us really neglect what's really important. Like I need you to Google the word important. Because a lot of things we give our time to have no importance, have no value, have no purpose. But yet we sitting there just giving it out time and energy. I'm very mindful of what I give my time and my energy to. And you got to learn and practice how to shut it off and shut it on. Like, all right, am I going to really pay this to mine? Because a lot of times we'll pay it mine unknowingly and our mind will just be thinking about it, racing 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 and then you got to be able to stop those thoughts and say why am i thinking about this huh what, 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 what's the point why, why is this bothering me why is this on my mind why is this on my heart ask yourself why and when you ask yourself why you start to get the truth answer and the truth is what you need to hear okay when that tax lady told me what, 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 I, what I wasn't ready to hear, I, I heard it. You know what I mean? I was just like, all right, she right. Okay. I'm a little scattered. You know? Okay. And I was just like, all right. And moving forward, here I am years later, 
I'm always being mindful of, right, let me get this in order. Let me get this aligned. Let me pay it. Let me, you know what I mean? Let me stay, let me stay organized. And it stops you from being lazy. Because being undisciplined is, is being lazy. Pushing things off that you know you need to be putting on. Just do it right and, and, and it take a minute. Some things will take us a minute to do and we just keep pushing it off just, just to procrastinate. And I get into that habit. I'm going to let me just send it to you now. Because if I don't send it to you now, I'm going to start doing something else. And I'm going to forget. And then we prolong it something. Nip it in the bud. That's what we used to call it. Mama, when we used to get in trouble with each other, my mom used to come, let's nip this in the bud. We're going to nip this in the bud. We going. That was her favorite thing to say. I'm like, all right, nippy. <laughs> let's nip it. But seriously, guys, nip them things in the bud. Do it. One, two, three. One and done. Okay, when I get things done, I be feeling so accomplished, even if it's a little task. Oh, I had to fax this paper? All right, let me get to faxing it. Oh, you just need this? All right, let me get that. Let me let me plan out my schedule. Let me stop here, then here, then here. Boom. And just like that, guys, I'm at my mark with my video because I got to go. I got a call coming. So a coaching call. So guys, understand what I'm saying. Watch this video twice. All right. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe just so I can feel you with me. I like to feel my soul family with me. Okay? All right, guys. Coach Amelia Adair here. Don't forget about the bell thing, 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 so you can know when I post. So you can stay focused and you can stay disciplined and you can stay ahead of the game. Okay? We need to be 10 steps ahead. Okay, to get that bread. <laughs> that wrong. But anyway, Coach Amelia T here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm going to see you guys at my next video. Bye for now.